from the mines in Butte, past the Anaconda smelter, down to the site of the old Milltown Dam. The Clark Fork of the Columbia has flowed right down the middle of a lot of Montana history. And now with the contamination and litigation behind us and the remediation and restoration efforts well underway, biologists are taking a close look at the river that for years we've just driven on by. It's kind of a rediscovery of a river that we've uh, wondered uh, what the status of the fishery was and uh, this is our chance to get our hands in the water and find out. Our work is really kind of twofold but happening at the same time. With the electrofishing we're finding out what the species composition is, the abundance of the different species and their location. Along with capturing those fish, we're putting radio tags into about 100 trout this year. And what we hope to find out from that is uh, key resource areas, migration routes, and the life history of those fish. Uh, so th this information will be used by uh, restoration managers to identify areas to Im use their money to improve by super fund managers and by the department in pursuing cooperative projects with local landowners. The tracking will occur for uh, four years and it's going to be year round to follow these fish and really understand how they use the river and its tributaries. If you catch a fish that has an antenna, please release it. That fish is providing valuable information for the future of the Clark Fork fishery. This is Mike Gurnett, out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.